Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here on News First at 10. I'm Lisa Lydon. Remembering Columbine, that's where we begin tonight. It is hard to believe that 10 years have passed since that awful morning. Two classmates went on a murderous shooting spree, killing 13 people. And tonight, friends, relatives, and community members came together to remember those whose lives were cut short. Rob Quirk was in Littleton for that memorial. He joins us now live with more. Rob? Lisa, good evening again from Littleton. You know, it's appropriate the memorial service is held here at Clement Park adjacent to the high school because as you recall in the hours, the days, the weeks following the shootings, Columbine High School was closed. It was an evolving crime scene. So Clement Park served as a sanctuary of sorts for people to come together to talk, to grieve, to pray. And as would uh, be 10 years later, much the same. And so we gather together in this sacred and holy place, a place that we call home. We remember, we remember, we remember. What has changed in 10 years is the way we look at life and how we live our second chance. It's been important for us to live our life to the best of our ability and to the fullest each day. So we've lived our lives the best we could. I also want to thank our principal. Frank DeAngelis. We know that we are still Columbine because of you, and I want those watching today know, to know how much that we appreciate you. And time and grace have helped to heal our wounds. We can't know what our Kyle, Lauren, Kelly, and Matt, what Dan, Cassie, Rachel, Dave, and Stephen, or John, Corey, Daniel and Isaiah would be doing. But we know them, and we look into the faces of their peers. We hold on tightly to your memory. Because we know with these lives that we get to A beautiful service indeed. My thanks to uh, photographer, editor Adam Knappick for putting together that beautiful tribute. By the way, in the days leading up to this 10-year anniversary, I was able to kind of look back, thanks to videotape on some of my reporting at the time from this very location, talking to law enforcement. You heard them talking about protecting our children, making our schools safer. You talked to the young people that had gathered here in Clement Park. They were talking about doing a better job of opening the lines of communication between students and teachers, parents and their children, making the process easier, recognizing some of the uh, warning signs and doing something about it, basically listening to each other more and more. Also, the other overwhelming theme was, of course, is why did this happen? And of course, in the subsequent years, we have uh, many books have been written, uh, studies have been done, a lot of analysis, but the bottom line is that there really is no rhyme or reason these two young men just decided that they were going to kill other people. By the way, I should also mention that uh, in talking to people out here today, it's, it's just uh, incredibly hard to believe that 10 years has gone by. One lady said that it seems like yesterday, but it really also seems like forever. Should also say that also in that 10 period or that 10 year period of time, you know, you put uh, names like Blacksburg, Virginia, and Binghamton, New York, and Jonesboro, Arkansas, also in the same breath as Columbine. And sadly, I think that uh, we are still remembering and we are still hoping that things will change as we move forward. It was a very, very emotional day, and uh, we're glad that we had the opportunity to bring it to you 10 years removed. Again, Lisa, hard to believe that it's been a decade, but what, what a service it was. It was amazing. What a beautiful tribute. Okay, thanks, Rob.